G'day guys, welcome back. We are currently lost. We're in Outback Queensland, doing the Matilda Way, but we're on the off-road sections. We're getting off the blacktop and we're trying to do our best to get to these spots without going on it. But the directions have just led us astray. We've just rocked up at someone's house on a station. We don't know where we're going, so come along with us because this is going to be one heck of an adventure. Let's get going. On the outside, looking in, I really wasn't sure what I was getting. Between the high waves, on the sea, waiting for something to get to me. I wasn't sure what I was hoping for, you see. But you act like gravity and you are me. Cause you know what I want, baby. You know everything that gets me going. You know what I want, baby. All the little things that I'm not showing. You know what I want, baby. And you know it all before I do it. Well, certainly didn't go to plan. Unfortunately, we are back on the highway for 14Ks to get to the turn off. I'm absolutely gutted. We were literally 12Ks away from where we needed to go. Got it. I thought it was such a cool adventure. I still love the road, don't get me wrong. Just a shame we couldn't get to our end destination by it. But highway it is. All roads lead to the highway these days. Spewing. All right, let's go check out this awesome looking campsite. I'm pretty excited actually. For once, we're gonna be spending money to stay somewhere and it should be a cracker. Let's go see the sign and you'll know where we're going. I've got to tell you about this place all right we are at Lara station and it has been an unreal night to be honest we just loved it here what a cracker first of all no power no rubbish or anything like that so you have to take everything with you they do have toilets and showers which is an absolute bonus and they've got this hot spring pool warm all year round 36 plus degrees just what we needed i'll tell you also got i know this because i'm looking at it right now which is good kids playground mini golf they've got soccer field for the kids there's a wetlands there's everything it is really really such a cool little place eh? and then they've got these donkey showers so they come around they light this fire and then you can have hot water that way and then there is a shower that's permanent as well overnight they've got happy hour you sit around have a yarn to other travelers they put on damper for you they put on tea or coffee as well and they've also got a play live band for you how cool is that just for happy hour so unreal beautiful camp kitchen with barbecues and everything like that really really such a great state we did enjoy it here we are going to be moving on today but i said to tell you about it hey so anyway that's enough of me rambling and let's hit the road and keep this adventure going baby well here it is guys we're at the next town i'm not even going to know how to pronounce it all right i've spoken to other travelers and they can't even tell me as well so i give up because i'll butcher it and we're just having a cruise around this whole thing here behind me which you'll see it's called like the tree of knowledge i believe and it was where they sat down and that's where the labor party came from i'm not really into politics so there you go the uh, monument's pretty cool looks all right can't complain with that so we'll just take a stroll through town and then we'll end up at camp wherever that may be probably just going to be a roadside stop i reckon for the night a nice little beautiful dust bowl as i told you mate i knew we were just going to be heading to a dust bowl i just knew it and that's what we did there's a lot of bull dust in this area you know what it's funny i thought we were coming to a little creek like everywhere we've sort of been there's been creeks and rivers and stuff and they've had a decent amount of water so we parked up against ours today absolute ripper so look at that just flowing <laughs> It's bone dry everywhere here, so I'm not sure when this place last had rain. It did say on the way in, if you enter into here, you're doing it at your own risk, and if you need to get rescued to get out of a bog, uh, it's going to cost you, because apparently it gets really boggy in here. I don't know how often it rains. But it was actually just so peaceful, hey? We're like... 
probably a good 100 metres off the highway. Got to have a fire. Where else can you ask for? It was beautiful. So, that's this spot, mate. I love a good dust bowl. A few moments later. How cool is this? I literally just stopped telling you where we are. And there's a couple of emus just rolling through camp. So, Maddie's going to get some better photos for me because I can't catch them with this thing. That's the sort of thing that we're finding we're enjoying so much more. Like, as weird as it is, we're not that excited to go into town. It's not about that destination for us. And towns don't really do it, to be honest. The passion that we have is finding those really cool campsites, the drives, the scenery along the way. It's about that whole adventure, not just where you pull up and what activities you can go and do and stuff like that. It's more the overall aspect of it. And then getting the tires dirty, that's cool also. But that's the thing that sort of makes it for me. I've always sort of said it, you know, like you can have have a campsite, say you're at a beautiful beach right, right on the beachfront and it can be gorgeous and it would sort of be here if you understand what I mean. But then all of a sudden dolphins swim past and now it goes from here to here and it's just those little experiences that can just add up and you know, you just find a spot like this that has now gone from here for us to here just because we've seen those emus. That's what it's all about. Remember that if you're gonna get out there traveling, don't forget to smell the roses. It's about that whole adventure, not just that destination. Later on this year, we're gonna be heading to Cape York and I need to try and keep that in the back of my mind as well. You know, it's not about getting to the tip of Australia. It's about that whole journey on getting there, the people we meet, the things we see, the corrugated roads, rattling our teeth out, just everything, the whole journey, so. There you go, another another good one of my chats. <laughs> I'm gonna go and watch these little tackers run around and hopefully they don't come up to me because I'm afraid of big birds as well, not just little ones, you know what I mean? So, uh, what's happening down here? Well, the tank's been leaking for some time now, and I finally found the issue. It's got a crack in it. Apparently we overpressurized it as we we're filling it up, so I'm just gonna put in some, whatever this is. I don't know what it is, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Broke me new <laughs> dickle. <laughs> yep, we are back on the road looking for the next campsite. And I'm going to be 100% honest, we shot through Longreach and Winton. And the reason is there really wasn't much there, to be honest. It was a lot of national parky stuff and things that we couldn't do with lunar tours and stuff like that. Beautiful spot still, please. We're not running them down whatsoever. Just wasn't really anything for us, wasn't our sort of scene. But this country has just been unreal. Seriously, we're just here at a roadside stop now, just making ourselves a hot drink and just taking it in, all the hills around us. We haven't had hills for a while, so it's been really really cool but this is what we love being out here in spots like this rather than towns like that so anyway let's keep chugging let's see if we can find a beautiful little campsite next to a river or something like that tonight that's what we're hoping for just chill out for a couple of days take it all in if not we might just be finding a bit of dirt next to these rocks because i can imagine that i know it isn't much but come sunset, I reckon this place would just light up like no tomorrow. I reckon it would be stunning. Let's see what we can find today. Come along with us as we still continue this journey, mate. This Matilda Way, the path and the off-road tracks have just been unreal, to be honest. But the highway is <laughs> grey and black. <laughs> Not our cup of tea. <laughs> no, but that is. That's actually a coffee today. Ah, oh, it's a coffee. <laughs> We've 
pulled up at this cracking little spot. I don't know how many. Would we have been here about four or five hours? Oh, probably. I think we got here before lunchtime. Today. Oh, we did actually. We had a cracker of a little, <laughs> a little early day, didn't we? This spot is unreal. But no one's turned in here. Not a single person. And I'm taking you to what makes this spot just that little bit better. Ah, uh, what was the name? Sorry, where are we? Fig tree. Fig tree waterhole is the non-indigenous name for it. I'm yep. not too sure the other name though. I'll get the other name of it on the sign that's here. But there's this little waterhole here. Which looks alright, you know, there's a little bit of green on the bottom and stuff like that, but... And no one's turning in here, I just can't get it. But, at the same time, I'm not complaining, <laughs> hey, this is unreal. We've literally not seen a single person try and pull in here. It could be that Wiki Camps has said that it was like four-wheel drive only. Yeah. And things like that, which might have deterred people, but... Honestly, I would have driven in here probably with an on-road van mm -hmm. I wouldn't you wouldn't be able to do all the tracks that are around but you'd certainly get it in to where you need to to then see this spot so I've found with wiki camps take it with a grain of salt hey because at the end of the day people like me and you can put stuff on there and say that it's a spot and choose the categories and stuff those little boxes that pop up i believe that we get to do i've never actually put one on but i think that that's how it sort of works you know and then everybody's different so me i don't think this is a four-wheel drive site it certainly has four-wheel drive aspects of it which you'll see we passed over what looked like it would have been a creek crossing I wouldn't take an on-road van there because it would bottom out but you don't even need to go to that side so take it with a grain of salt we've found that a few times now um, with different things so there you go check it out let's go and suss this place out when we got here today as well we we're flying the drone <laughs> in and then heaps of I don't know if they're like kite birds or a type of an eagle or what they actually are but there was probably 30 odd flying around and then they started attacking the drone so that was pretty funny oh i've got to watch where i'm going here because i could fall down that hill uh <laughs> <Don't>. whoops <laughs> are you waiting for uh good content could be This is unreal, hey? This seriously is like, it brings back, maybe that's why we love it so much, like a python pool sort of vibe in the Pilbara, but obviously super, super tiny compared. But maybe that's why we enjoy it. And it would be so cool to be here one day when it's actually um, flowing with the waterfall or something like that. It would be super cool. Unreal. These are the spots we love to find. This is the stuff we enjoy, and we're super bloody glad to be here, I'll tell you. I think Luna is too. She's having a good time over there, isn't she? service would you? <laughs> Any land there? A 
that's not bad. You did pretty good. How awesome is this? We are just packing up, getting ready to leave. And can you see that around the back there? Four emus plus a couple out the back. That's unreal. We've been here for three days. We haven't seen anything. And then the last day they just walk up to us. How wicked. When something like that happens straight away, we try and just grab Luna, chuck her in the car or something. So then that way she's out of it. There's no chance of anything going wrong and they can enjoy the land that they get to roam anyway. And we don't really want to disturb them. So keep her out the way. Otherwise she's going to yap and carry on. And we just want them to go about their day as they're meant to. That's so freaking cool though, hey? As I said, three days in this beautiful area. Honestly, this spot has been unreal. First two days, we only had one person each night rock up. They camped as far away as they could. Last night, three other cars rocked up. It's just so peaceful, so quiet here, and hardly anyone turns in, so unreal, hey? And then we just had that beautiful little swimming hole. Tried a few different things, cooking on the fire and stuff like that, save our battery power so we can stay off grid for longer. I love it. Today, we'll be shooting off if you've seen Crocodile Dundee, you might know where we're off to today. So stick around and let's go on an adventure and see what that's all about. Yep, that's right. We've made it to the Walkabout Hotel. To be honest, I'm a bit young for the movies. So I need to go back and watch them because I have totally forgotten what it's sort of like. So tonight will probably be a refresher on the movie and this pub, but pretty cool to go in there. It's still awesome with all the pictures and stuff like that, just different memorabilia and things. So anyway, we're gonna go relax, have a beer, mate, take it all in and then hit the road. Oh, I'm excited. Well guys, thank you so much for being a part of this journey. We found some pretty awesome hidden camps in this one and we hope you enjoyed exploring along with us. As always, you're an absolute bloody legend. We'll catch you next week, wherever that may be.